What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix IPTV Stalker without having to change your MAC address whatsoever. First thing we're going to do is download the XML file that I placed down below in the description. On this page we're going to click download. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to cody.wiki slash view slash user data. The link for this will be also down below. I am working with a window, so I will take this and copy it. We're going to open up the file explorer and paste it right there. As you can see, we are in the user data of Kodi. Now we're going to open up the location where we downloaded the XML file. We're going to copy it. And we're going to paste it right inside the user data of the Kodi. Now we can open up Kodi. Now in Cody here, all we have to do is click the little star on the bottom left. You will see that all these IPTV stalker channels will be over here. We're going to click one. For this tutorial, I decided to uninstall IPTV stalker just to prove that this works. So this will install it for me. And it's going to open up this channel. As you can see, this works with all the channels that are over here. Now, as you can see, I can go to my IPTV stalker. I can go to add-on settings. And you can see I don't have my custom MAC address on or send serial number on. So this works without anything done to your IPTV stalker. All right, guys, that's all for today. Setting this up on an Amazon Fire Stick will be in the next video. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to watch more on Cody.